Hey everybody, how's it? Aloha, this is Jeeves here. I'm your old composer here on the World Music Reaction and Review Channel. And most of you know I have that other one that's, that's heavy metal with almost a quarter million subs. But this one is where I really glide out and uh, really go for the global experience of different composers and artists and all kinds of stuff as you can see on the channel. I'm really excited to do this because to me, anime is probably one of the most creative... Um, how do you say, culture in the world for me, my opinion, when it comes to the art form, the visual, and the sound. Now, I will admit, um, I was very new uh, to this experience right now listening to music from anime, and this was a suggestion that was sent to me actually on my heavy metal channel, on Patreon there. And it, uh, the art, I guess the composer's name is Kiichi Okabe. Please forgive me if I say the name wrong. And this actually comes from a movie or it's a soundtrack. So that's, that's good for me as a composer. I know what I'm getting into. I don't know how to pronounce this either. Nair Otamata? I think I, I may have gotten that right. Anyhow, all that being said, what I do know is that there is an extremely broad uh, representation of music in anime. And I did a little bit of homework. I was like, oh my gosh, there's some metal, there's some... Uh, so I'm definitely going to be going down this anime rabbit hole. So start with me on this journey and let's do this. Uh, I appreciate your support. If you want to buy me a cup of coffee, the link is down below. And, and I also want to answer again, a few people still ask me, what's the deal with the puppets? And I'm a ventriloquist and I do children's uh, hospital entertainment visits and stuff like that. That's it. That's what that is. I, I'm not Bobo, but I'm Bobo, but I'm Bot Bobo, you know. The voices in my head, I get to clear out with the puppets. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. So this is by composer Kiichi Okabe, and this is an original soundtrack cut, Nier Automata. I think I got that right. All right, guys, let's do this. All right.
All right, I gotta stop and start somewhere with this. This is, I love, love, love this for so many reasons. Let me see if I can compress this so we can listen to it. And then if you still hang out, we'll talk a little more after this. First of all, I love the dynamics of the layering that's going on in the composition. They started off with this kind of a soft analog pad sound. You know, they kind of gave us not a really super rich ambient vibe, but definitely started it off with that. And then there was these little nuances of the, like a string bow. Does that, 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 you know, so I kind of knew what I was getting into and stuff. And as the, as the uh, soundtrack or this specific, uh, specific composition started to grow, we started getting more and more layers that were being, you know, subtly added onto. One of the things I love about what I'm hearing are these voices. Now, of course, I don't know what they're saying. Um, and I don't know if it's actually part of the soundtrack, maybe a song or something that's repeating itself in this piece of work. But I, I, I love it for two reasons. One is the percussive value of how it's written. So you know, that kind of thing. And also the effects of that is so unique and so cool. Right now I'm on a really big trip on ambient, ethereal, EDM, chill step kind of stuff. So I'm really diving pretty deep into this. The big storm drums is, I, don't, I hate to say it this way, as typical in this kind of powerful stuff. All composers use these big storm drums and stuff when we want to drum up that energy, no pun. <clears throat> but um, I love the tones of them. They're not overblown and pushed out too far. Uh, something else that's really badass that I was just listening to, I was going, no way. Through all this bigness that we hear, there's actually, it sounds like, don't know for sure, acoustic guitar. And so the acoustic guitar is strumming a pattern and we may not be able to hear the guitar, but what we can hear is the percussive uh, part of that performance where the pick against the string. But if you listen really closely, you can hear the guitar parts, it sounds like, okay? And then of course you saw me reacting to this. He, as, as this arrangement grows, we're adding different elements to it. And first of all, before I say what I was just about to say, love the chord changes that we just heard here because the first probably minute and a half to two minutes actually stayed in one key and there's a constant note that's going through it to kind of guide you as a zip line through this, uh, these changes. Then these chord changes, these light chord changes come here, but I love all the strings that he's adding there. You know, these, these, they're not quite arpeggiations, but they're, you know, little ostinatos and stuff like that that kind of pop in and out. And uh, so anyhow, this is fantastic. Okay, I'm going to shut up. We're going to go back a little bit. We'll finish the rest of it. You look at how pumped up I am about this. This is great. Okay. 
So I, being that I got this off of YouTube and I didn't find it on Spotify, maybe there's a reason why there's a fade or maybe this is what it did here. But I gotta tell you something, I am so over the moon with this. I just am so excited to have had the opportunity to react to this. Um, another thing that I wanna bring up, <clears throat> remember I was talking about the big kind of storm drums kind of things, uh, um, section that was going on there. When it aired out and all you can really hear was with the storm drums, is there was great little uh, arrangements that were going on. So you have the big bangers, boom, 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 boom. but then at the bottom, very, very super, super cool. Another thing, <coughs> excuse me, another thing that I just love about it is that it's powerful and impactful, but by having these long whole note uh, vocals, you know, uh, hanging out there, da, da, da. <laughs> sorry. And it holds out, it, is, it just helps the glide while the power is still going. And then of course, then it cuts back into those affected, really super cool uh, vocals uh, that were happening, you know, a little faster. Also, you saw me go like this when, it, when these kind of string sounds came in. It sounded more like it was a pad. Um, so I just wanted to reiterate, I know that wasn't strings. It, sound, it sounded like a pad. Oh, I could be wrong. It could be also um, layered. So sometimes composers will use, you know, a pad, which sounds like strings from a keyboard, and then they get musicians in the layer underneath it. Anyhow, that's, that's a finite detail that doesn't even play into the impact that I had with this track. I loved it. I'm so excited to be doing this for the first time. I want to do so much more. I'm going to rely on you guys to be dropping uh, other anime uh, types of music for me to listen to. Um, I want to thank you guys for hanging out long enough. Uh, if, if you really liked it, you want to buy me a cup of coffee, the links are down below. Uh, other than that, uh, if you want to like, share, you know, put it out there, that's great. And um, yeah, that's it. This was great. Look at me. I am so jazzed. And, and actually, like I said, I actually got this as a suggestion through my Patreon, which I didn't expect because a high percentage of my Patreon members come from that heavy metal channel that I have. So we're talking heavy, dark, and, and all kinds of prog metal and stuff like that. And this guy goes, hey, dude, I think you might like this. I'm so excited that he did. So um, anyhow, you guys take care of yourself. Thank you so much for indulging me on this journey. Look so forward to doing more of this. All right, guys, take care. Have a nice day. All right.